Since the second half of the 19th century, Baku was one of the social, political, economic and cultural center of the Transcaucasian Armenians. The Armenian community was quite often number one in Baku's economic, socio-political spheres. Armenians published the first newspaper in Baku, The Armenian World. Editor-publisher Stepan Stepanian. Armenians published the first book in Baku, The Passing of Indians Through Inhabited Islands, translated by Avak Grigorian. Armenians founded the first library in Baku, Baku Humanitarian Organization. Armenians established the first ensemble of Azerbaijani national instruments in Baku by conductor Ionisian. Various postcards, magazines and books published in various countries by Armenians from Baku tell us very interesting stories. Recently, we acquired a very interesting book, Baku, 1874. This volume contains two books which were published in Baku. The other one is a book by Hagop Erlich, a book for children and teenagers, belonging to a certain Avakov, probably someone famous in Baku, printed by Malafian print, an Armenian print, 1874. At the end of the 1890s, the Irish case was published in Baku. That is, a volume about national issue has been published in Baku, which today has a lot of common with the Karabakh issue. The role of Armenians in the petroleum business of the Black City was also irreplaceable. 1897 to 1907, the first Baku Batumi pipeline was constructed by Armenian manufacturers. What kind of role and weight did the Armenians have in the petroleum industry and economic life? You can find shares of the petroleum companies, documents, even paper money issued in Baku. To summarize information about the Armenians in Baku, the website baku.am has been initiated by the Genocide Museum containing facts which cause anger among Azerbaijanis. Maybe for the generations to come such coexistence, the presence of Armenian civilization in Baku will assist them to find new formulas for peaceful coexistence. The website about powerful cultural presence of Baku Armenians aimed to first of all show the powerful cultural presence in today's capital of Azerbaijan and to present through international press and various sources about the powerful community which ceased to exist there. For an Azerbaijani, it is difficult to accept that the building, the architecture of which they admire, where they live, has been created by an Armenian. Armenians in Baku founded the first House of Opera in 1908. Which were the important buildings which embellished the capital city of Azerbaijan. All in all, those are creations of Armenians who had European education. Buildings are beautiful examples of architecture. It is impossible to destroy them, as today they are part of Azerbaijan capital architectural identity. For example, the building of the major oil producers, or the commercial colleges, or the entrance tower of the municipality, built by Nikolai Bayev. That is, if we try to demolish the Armenian creation in Baku, we will have to demolish the 19th century Baku's identity, which is impossible. In 1990, the massacre of Armenians took place in Baku.